In this video, I will show you how to create push generator in Pixel Composer using scatter node. The main concept here is very simple. We will use scatter node to scatter around a leaf image, and we will layer multiple scatter node to create a shading effect. So let's begin by adding the scatter node. Selecting in the scatter node, here in the version 1.12.2, it comes with a default asset, which includes a leaf texture or leaf image. You can go to the shape and the nature, then we can choose a leaf image. Maybe increase the number of scattering by increasing this amount value. The next thing is of course we want to give it color. So we'll go to the random blend and then give it some color. We can also make a scatter based on the custom mask. First we will go to the distribution and then we will change to be a map. This will create new input called distribution map. And then here we're just gonna create a basic canvas. We drag in this surface out to the distribution map. And then we set this area to fill the entire surface. Now we should be able to draw directly on the surface and our image will be scattered around the shape that we create. Next, we will duplicate this node and we will give it lighter color. Now in the second layer, we want it to have a smaller mask. Then we can use erosion and then select use alpha. And this node will erode the surface, make it smaller. We can also add transformation to shift it up a little bit. Now when we combine these two nodes together, we can already see there is some kind of layering here. And of course, everything is controlled using only one canvas, so we can draw and the change will be updated in real time. In the scattering node, we can also change the, this random blend to be a gradient. If we make it a gradient, as you can see here, there will be more detail. We can also click on this gradient itself to create multiple control points, and then we go to the key blending and set to hard blend. This will convert gradient into a solid color. And we can expand upon this idea to add different shape of scattering as well. You can change these angle properties to increase the variation. The next thing that we will do here is we will animate this input surface. Right, right now we use this canvas to draw image but we can also use any image as well. So we will create a line drawer, typing line in here. Then we'll add a new node called path. Connecting this path data to the line, this will allow you to draw the path and make the line follow this path. Right now, we're not gonna say anything because in the line, we have the segment set to one. So if we increase this value, we're gonna see we have this line coming in now. Then we're gonna increase the width. Here in the width over length, we can adjust this curve. And we also have this range property. But right now, as you can see, when you change the range, the width is like it cut off. So we have to toggle the span width over part. This will make it so that when you change the length, the width will also adjust as well. And then we can use this image as a distribution map. Now, as you can see, when you change this range property, we have created this growth animation. Right now, there are some like floating leaf here because this area is quite small, right? Since we're not gonna see this image anyway, we can change this width. Make it a bit thicker at the end. So let's animate it, right? Click on this toggle animation, maybe animate the width too. And then click on this keyframe to add keyframe. Now we can reduce this range and then make it smaller. Then we, when we play animation. Another thing in this erode node here, as you can see, this pixel is got cut out too, right? If you try to increase the width, you will see that this bottom pixel also get cut out. We can keep this edge area by toggling on this preserved border. It's just gonna make this shape attached to the, to the edge. And that's all for this video. I hope that this will be a good inspiration for you and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.